Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're looking at Buzz Launcher today. Now, I'm not big on uh, launcher apps. I usually just don't have the time to mess around with all the settings and stuff. But let me ask you, have you ever saw uh, a home screen on a forum or, you know, somewhere uh, where say, oh, that looks cool. I'd love to have something like that. And then, you, you know, usually the users put the instructions down, all the apps you need and, you know, how to set it up. And you still say to yourself, oh, you know, I don't have the time to mess around with that. But, you know, I wish I could just I wish I could just put it on my screen just like that. Well, that's what Buzz Launcher does. Buzz Launcher lets you select from a number a ton of different home screens some like this some completely minimalistic um, let's just actually go right into it um, some of the on some of the home screens you'll actually have different buttons to go into it but you'll always be able to hit the menu key uh, in order to get um, of course if you don't have a menu key on your phone it won't be as easy but you hit your menu key here and you go into what's called the home pack buzz now you create an account with uh, with the home pack buzz with your Google Plus account or Facebook and um, now sometimes the one thing is the fonts are a little small here of course this is a 1080p screen and uh, right now we're in staff picks and uh, you can go in and you can, these are all home screens that you can choose right here and there are just tons of different looks Looks, and they're set up just like you see them and I'm going to get into it in a second but there are still some tweaks that you can do as well you can see this is just in the staff picks and all these different looks then you have um, and I can't even read that that's uh, um, uh, hot <laughs> the font is very small um, of course, when you hold it closer to your face, you can read it a little easier. But um, And this is in beta, just so you know also. Uh, it's been out for a few months, and um, you know it, they just keep making it better and better. And there's a lot of different things that they're going to be uh, adding as well. So, and there, you know, you get some Windows theme type ones. I mean, these are all just completely different. Now, you can also go into categories as well. And you've got everything here from, um, let me bring this a little closer. Uh, you know, music and video and um, uh, photography and hobbies and, you know, all that good stuff. I mean, you just got uh, tons of different categories there and you can go into them. Now, one thing you can't do is um, search, which would be cool. Like, say you go to the sports and your favorite team, my favorite team is the Red Sox for baseball. It's a lot harder to find them. Uh, the other thing that happens sometimes is, um, say you go into a category here and I'll just pick music video. Um, what happens is, as people download these, they make changes. And then what's really cool is you can also upload them to share with others. And so you'll end up with different versions of the same one. And they're not grouped together. So, like, you might see this one here. And then, like, further down, you'll see it again, but there's some changes to it. They're gonna, they're working on categorizing things, so it'll be a lot easier to see the different versions um, that work. But what's cool though is that you can, if you have the time to create your own that look anything like these, you can upload them and share them, and, and that's really cool. Now, you can go into any one of these here, um, and actually, what I'm gonna do is go in the back way, I'm gonna actually go into uh, show you this is the app drawer and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna show the ones I've downloaded here I'm just gonna go in like this to kinda show you um, these are the ones that I've downloaded and of course if you make changes you can also save them as well um, some of them I actually didn't really use all that much and I was just testing this one here is the actual one that will be installed when you first uh, install the app but when you go into it um, and you take a look at, um, like for example, this particular one that I actually have installed, it actually shows you the apps that you need to have on your device and you have comments and you can contact the person who created it for icons and stuff like that. Now, there are certain apps, like say you don't have Facebook, you can change it, but basically, you know, it's saying that in order for this to work based on, you know, the way it's going to come down now, you should have Facebook on your phone. Um, again, you don't, you know, you can change that icon to whatever you want. You can customize it to whatever you want. There are also widgets involved, and it's already works with um, minimalistic text. Um, I think it's Super Widget Pro and Battery Widget Z. There's also a Buzz custom widget as well uh, that you can make customized widgets. Now, when you download, um, 
one of these. Uh, it'll, it'll give you a chance to download any apps that you don't already have, any widgets. It's going to give you that opportunity. So if I go into here, let's go into here right now. And um, these are the apps. Now if I, go to, if I go to hit download, which I already had it download, but you have to say it again. Now I can add it, apply it to my home, or add it to my existing uh, screen. So, uh, but right now we're just going to apply it to home. And it takes a few seconds. And this is, uh, you know, to tell you right now, I see this little symbol here. That's telling me that I need to download something. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And right here, this is saying the Buzz, uh, no, Buzz Custom Widget. The first time you do this, you'll, you'll be prompted to actually install it. I already have it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to change it. That's for the battery. Now this one here, I think, is an app that I don't have. So it's going to go right to the Play Store, Vapor Ice. Go ahead and install that. And I'll go ahead and hit Continue. And of course you can choose, you know, if you don't want this. So I'm going to go back now. Whoops. Get rid of that. Go ahead and do it again. Vapor Ice can be added here. And then we'll go ahead and create. And it uh, maybe take a couple seconds. Oh, there it is. It said it stopped, but it, it started working. So there's the clock widget. And there's something here. Now, sometimes, like in this particular one, it's going to say not found. But I think yeah, I'm going to long press on it now. And uh, actually, we see all those dots there. Um, those are different where you can put the different icons. There's all kinds of grid sizes you can put. But I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, edit here. And you can see it's going to the gallery, but for some reason it's trying to look for the app. Sometimes you get little quirky things like that. So I can actually just tap on this and then I can do a shortcut. For example, here's, um, whoops. I'm just going to go to app right now, and I'll show shortcut after. So I'm just going to go ahead. Now, I can make this anything I want, actually, but I'm going to go ahead and go with gallery. And uh, there it is right there. And this is a two-page um, home screen. And here's another, something else. This is one weather, uh, which I believe I already have from another home screen. So that's going to go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and OK. And that widget's all set. Uh, and then this one here does goes to the Play Store again by mistake. I forget what this one is. This one is looking for uh, mail. But I can make it, uh, what I can do is go ahead and make it uh, Gmail if I want. And, um, and I can change the icon as well. You can go over here and um, you can go ahead and find icons from the web or you know through Google Images or whatever and some of them are there are already some in the downloaded folder as well that you can select um, but you can also go into uh, hit the plus key here and grab any from your phone uh, from you know any pictures or downloads and I just did the Chrome one there so I can go ahead and um, you know select this particular um, we'll go ahead and select it now it's not gonna look right uh, but there, it's Gmail, it's really Chrome, but that just gives you an example. Now, in this particular one here, you have, you don't have to hit the menu, you can hit this here to get different, uh, the different uh, quick uh, menu here, and over here, this B brings you to um, the, the uh, home pack buzz. Now, let's go into here, and you can go into decoration, and you can also add, I see I can also add any apps here too and anywhere just like you would anywhere else. I can add a, a shortcut. There's a shortcut there and um, actually it still isn't working the way I uh, originally was doing that. Let's see. I wonder if it's because that's open. Shouldn't be. Oh, action. That's what I was thinking of. Action actually. Um, I had the wrong word. Uh, you can add the different actions here, those those uh, quick 
toggles like say your app drawer and stuff anywhere you want um, so but you can add I can add all kinds of icons you know apps all around this if I want and uh, like I said this is over here now I showed you where you could uh, long press and I'm sorry this is just so much stuff here that it's hard to get, get organized and go over it all with you decoration and you can also get the decoration here um, Decoration allows you to make certain changes to each home screen. Uh, like, for example, the current home screen, you can change the wallpaper for each one. In this particular one, I don't think you'd want to. You can change the grid size, which you can see it's uh, a lot of different uh, you have a lot of different sizes here, and even a custom size. And you can. Uh, I don't understand these inner margins and outer margins so much. And then you can also change the wallpaper for all the screens. So that's, um, and there's also, um, oh yeah, you can also make it so the status bar is visible or not visible. And the page indicator, that is going to show little dots at the bottom and give you that quick access to that buzz launcher menu on the side. There's the vapor ice having a problem working for whatever reason. Um, and then the dock bar. Uh, having that visible or not. So I'll leave the page indicator and the dock bar and it'll give you a little different look. Um, and right now the dock bar it's not showing any items here but in many of them you get selections um, along the bottom. So I'll go ahead and uh, go back in here to decoration and I will turn off dock bar and um, that's the end of that. I don't know why. A lot of times you'll get the quick uh, stuff to contacts and stuff on the bottom if you turn on the dock bar. Now maybe the person who created this didn't put any of the apps in the dock bar. Um, so now here's the thing. You can go in now into settings and if you want the way you like this you can go in and back it up and then, then you can re refer to it any given time. So you make these changes you don't have to worry um, you know about oh, man, you know switching to another home screen and going back and making these changes you can customize the way you want and then you can upload it uh, do whatever you want you can upload it to share with others so and then you can quickly restore from here as well uh, so it's pretty cool um, there's really um, oh there's also some gestures as well that you can turn off and on uh, the one gesture that you can't turn off is the double uh, the swiping uh, to zoom in uh, where you can go to the different home screens and then select which one you want to be your main home when you press the home button. See that little home uh, there? That's uh, so. If I can, there's one here. If I press that, that becomes my default home now. And then, of course, I can add pages. Now, actually, let me just show you. Let me go back to the Buzz Store here, and I'm going to take that one that I had on my phone and. Um, add it to this rather than um, replace it. Um, whoops, let me go into the um, into the uh, launcher. Oh, I was talking about gestures. If I, you know, like there's a gesture here if I swipe up, there I get the um, app drawer, so that's a quick uh, gesture there that you can turn off and on. And um, I'm just going to go in here quickly to my home packs and I'll select this one here which I already had downloaded. Now I could bring it from a backup as well, uh, but I, but I didn't have it or whatever. So th I'm just going to take it the way it is. I'm going to go hit it download, and I'm going to um, append it now. So now I'm going to hit OK as my preview. So it's been installed. I still have this. But here it is here. Now here again, every time you do it, you're going to have to just approve these things, which is can be a little annoying, but doesn't take long at all. There's a, I think it's fancy widgets there. And that's the battery. So now I have these three completely, and it, you know, it's, it actually transitions very well. So let me just pretend now, whoops. Let me just pretend that, um, I'm gonna. I'll just go ahead and delete these pages now. I'm gonna go ahead and delete. Um, go ahead and delete. And now, 
here I have this here alone. Now let's just say for example, which I was going to do when I first uh, did the video, I'm going to edit this. I'm going to actually change this. This is why I brought the Chrome icon to begin with before because that gave me a better look for Chrome. So I actually changed that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead into settings, uh, buzz settings, and I'm going to restore it or back it up I mean back it up and it's going to give you the date and a little picture of it and there it is so if I revert to another one for example here um, this is just a test one I didn't really care for this one too much too many different looking pages I actually changed this to Dropbox it was something else so that's the save um, but you can see you have to install um, the stuff again even when you do it. It's a lot quicker doing it from your backup. So my I, I recommend just backing up anything that you use. It's a lot quicker that way um, rather than going into the home pack store and kind of re-downloading it. But that's the um, the quick uh, bar at the bottom where the uh, options um, show there uh, that I was telling you about uh, under decoration, appearance, the dock bar um, and there it is, it disappears. And then you can take off the status bar, and it does give you a clean look here. And you can still get the status bar by going that way, but it's kind of weird when it's not there. You kind of um, not notice your notifications, and you might go a while without checking your email. So, um, But you can turn that on and off, and you can go in here again and uh, hit decoration. So you can um, put the dock bar back status bar back and uh, you know there you go so um, and then of course I can revert back to that one I saved uh, and that would be um, settings again sorry I had to think there for a second um, back up and restore and I can take that one there with the different cubbies and it puts it right back and uh, actually no I didn't have to do the um, widgets it's already uh, done for me there I didn't have to okay them so that works pretty well now let me just go back I didn't I know I didn't go over those gestures uh, as much uh, these are the gestures you can turn them off and on swipe up as showed you as the app drawer it's one I pretty much use uh, of course swipe down as notifications um, so you know you can turn them, uh, there's two finger uh, swipes that you can set there. Um, so you can just turn them off and on. And uh, that's it, it's Buzz Launcher. And if you're someone who really likes to change your, your home screen to something cool and unique all the time, this is the app to check out. It's totally cool. I mean, it's very rare. I mean, I like a lot of apps out there. I review a lot of apps. Some are cool and stuff, but there are very few that really blow me away, and this one is. It's free of charge, and it's just fantastic. And you think about the Android community and all the... Um, the sharing and everything that goes on and the customization it's just amazing looking at all the different uh, types of home screens that you can select in fact that's about the only thing that will take a lot of time is just looking them over all, all of them and sometimes it's actually hard to figure out you know what do I really want here <laughs> there are just so many cool looking ones and um, it really is wild I mean you could just sit there uh, literally all day it just keeps it just endless it just keeps going on and on and on and this video has been going on and on and on so I talked to you long enough go to the Play Store and download it Buzz Launcher and let me know what you think thanks for watching this is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android